Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here, bringing you guys more Battlefield 4 gameplay. And in this gameplay, I started off with a 9 0 record. So, uh, it was pretty much an insane gameplay because everybody was close by. So, uh, right now, you're gonna be able to see how I got the record real quick because everybody's just gonna be near the hallway. As you can see right now, one down, two down, turn around, 180, take out the guy from the stairs that I've, you know, I forgot to kill. And uh, there you go, three kills in a row. So, uh, Anyways, um, yeah, in the, the, the room that you're currently seeing right now, it turns dark later on. So you're going to be able to see me blindside some people. They don't even know where I'm coming from. It's just pretty much insane. That's why I like this gameplay the, the most from every single gameplay that I've done with Battlefield 4. So uh, anyways, yeah, I mean, squads has been going pretty good for me. I did test it out in the beginning of the when I first got it like a week ago. And, um, you know, I didn't have the right weapons for it. So that's why I ended up losing most of the time. And I wasn't doing so good, so I actually ended up going to Conquest and Rush to unlock more weapons. And uh, now I'm back here, and I'm actually doing good with this gun that is called the SG553. And then it's located in the Carbine Rifle Division, so do not forget where it is. It's, it's in the Carbine Rifle Division. And, um, you know, I think lately I've been finding out, like, which guns are the best, which guns are useless. And I found out there's only, like, around four or five that are actually pretty good. Uh, one of them is the G36, this gun, the SG553, and the other one's called the CBQ uh, B. I forgot which is what's, what's the name, but later on I'll bring you guys more gameplays on that gun because it's mostly from long range. And uh, I think the first so, uh, the the first carbine rifle is actually good also. So uh, I mean it's a lot of steps, you know. I'll, I'll teach you guys, you know, which guns are the good, uh, which guns are good, and which guns are bad. So uh, later on in the videos, guys, you're gonna be able to see, you know, the progress that I'm doing, uh, the, the 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 things that I'm finding out, you know, later on in some future videos. So uh, anyway. You know, it's all about this weapon right now because right now it's pretty much surprising me how well I'm doing right now. And uh, the reason why is because, goddamn, you know, I started off weak in the first three days of Battlefield 4, and then, goddamn, I just went better after I used this weapon for a while. So, uh, so yeah, and also, extra information about me I barely have one week in this game, and I'm already doing good. And this game has been out like for two months already since uh, November, November, December, January. Yeah, two months. So, yeah. I think I'm a natural again. <laughs> I mean, I, I bashed this game so many times and somehow I ended up doing well, man. I think it's just some first person shooter instinct. I don't know what the hell it's called, but you know, uh, it, whatever first person shooter you, you play in the previous time, you know, like Call of Duty or Borderlands or whatever you play, you know, it just carries over. So um, I guess that's it. I don't know how guys you want. I don't know how guys uh, you guys want to say it, but you know, that thing that's how it is. You know, it just carries over to every single first person shooter game out there. So, uh, anyways. Uh, next week, guys, like I kept saying in, th in the previous video, and I will say it again, um, there will be best class setups. And goddamn, look at this right now. I just took out like two guys right in front of my face. And as I told you guys, the rooms get dark in this map. It's pretty awesome because the people don't even know where my spawn beacon's at, my uh, little radar is at. So it's going to be pretty much confusing for them. And uh, right here, I'm just sneaking out behind uh, this enemy and I got killed. I know I should have dropped down. I should have stayed up there like for a little bit longer so I can like get those two kills right there. But goddamn, I messed up. So anyways, yeah, the gameplay gets a little, little, little bit more insane later on in the gameplay. So um, yeah, keep your eyes on the gameplay. Anyways, uh, like I said, you know, best class setups are coming up pretty soon. And uh, hopefully you guys, you know, understand what I'm doing here. You know, if you guys want to play some squads, you guys want to play some TDM, uh, Domination. I do have the best class setups for those kind of situations because right now this is one of them. Number two will be the UMP and some certain other weapons that I have tested out already. And those classes will be coming out next week. So, yeah, be patient for those. Um, if you can't wait, you know, I'll tell you guys right now in the comment section. Uh, I'll just have to log, log in into my other account called Midnight Blue and answer it for you guys here, right here. Uh, so, anyways, you know, this gameplay is just freaking awesome. I just can't. I'm, I like watching my own gameplay because this is a game that I barely even played. I mean, like, what the hell, Joe? I mean, you've been playing Call of Duty for the past four years and you step over here into Battlefield 4 and you're doing that good? It's just insane, man. And um, I don't know what my KD is at right now. I think it's like a 1.8. And uh, the reason why it's a 1.8 under a 2.0 because uh, in the beginning of the game, you know, when I first bought it, I was doing so terrible because uh, I didn't have the right weapons to, you know, to play some certain game mode. So uh, now that I do have the weapons, you know, you're going to be able to see my my uh, my KD go a little bit higher than, than usual. So um, and I do play the, the freaking objectives. I'm not one of those people that camp around just to, like, get the kills now. I do the objectives also. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's all I'm gonna be doing guys, you know, playing some squad uh, team deathmatch and stuff 
so you guys can see some of the rushing you know stuff that i'll be doing in this game it's just insane man it's a lot better than call of Duty ghost i really recommend this game i recommend you guys to switch over from call of Duty ghost over to this game because this game is all about the gun fighting man you gotta have technique you gotta have that skill if not you're gonna actually end up losing and you know and it's nothing compared to call of Duty. call of Duty is something else man call of Duty is just trash compared to this game man it's just trash this game shits all over call of Duty, man i have to admit it Coming from a four-year player of Call of Duty, Battlefield 4 shits on the Call of Duty series. Yeah, it does. And to my, you know, my loyal subscribers, you know, the guy, the people have been following me since my Call of Duty days. You know, I have to say this because, you know, Call of Duty Ghost hasn't been very good to me. And I just can't, you know, support that series no more that I have to switch over to Battlefield 4. And I'm telling you right now, guys, Battlefield 4 is where everything's at. I think you guys should move there. So anyways, um, uh, overall, you know, guys, just next week, be patient. There's going to be a lot of strategies and tips being given out. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can do better after that because Battlefield 4 is where everything's at. Where that's where, you know, the action is at. I, I've been saying it throughout the whole year. You know, where's the action at? And uh, it's here in Battlefield 4. I was very surprised. So anyways, you know, the final score of this game, of this gameplay was like around uh, 26 and 7. I actually died a few more times than compared to my previous gameplay. My previous gameplay was, was my highest KD. I mean, the 24 and 3. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> so uh, the reason why I ended up surviving more is because everything was tight. Everything was there. And, you know, the hallways are tight. So I was there all the time with my uh, SG553 because this gun has the best rapid fire from every single carbine rifle out there. So I suggest to, to test out this gun, guys, in short range battles. Not medium range, not long range, not in conquest tight ass battles like in hallways and operation locker that would be the best time to use this gun so anyways guys the gameplay is about to end hopefully you guys enjoy it it was an insane gameplay and uh tell me your favorite parts of the video and also my question goes out to you guys when are you getting battlefield 4 i mean i would love to play with some of you guys and i do need help you know with squads i've been trying to add some people that i'm currently playing with right now and they haven't responded back because uh, we played a whole night together, and, you know, I don't even know these guys, but overall, we did good. They did good also, and uh, I just took care of the ground level. That's what I am, guys, Mr. Ground Level. So, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day. Make sure you, get, make sure, uh, you guys subscribe for more, and uh, leave a like on the video.